Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm an executive and leadership coach, and welcome to this week's video blog post. So this week we come to the final behavior in the practice of enabling others to act, um, which is part of Kuzas and Posner's leadership challenge. And this last practice, I think, encapsulates everything we've talked about in the last five weeks. And it is ensures that people grow in their jobs by learning new skills and developing themselves. It ensures that people grow in their jobs by learning new skills and developing themselves. So if we use the example that I've been using of people coming to your door and asking for help and assistance, and instead of you just giving it to them, asking them what their solutions are, what their thoughts are, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're helping him to develop some different skills. Plus, you are giving them the self-confidence that they are able to come up with the solutions and able to complete the task. You're also giving them an accountability to get it done. So all those things you're doing that ensures that they're growing in their jobs and learning new skills and developing themselves. One of the biggest roles a leader can take is the coach or the mentor. It's not your role to do the, everything, to do the tasks. That's why we hire people, that's why we have staff, because we can't do everything. Our role is to make sure all the pieces are working. And Enabling others to act is giving them the power to do that. That's what this whole piece about leadership is all about, is encouraging their growth. Because it's one of the things that you're doing here, right? Is you're creating your own succession plan. As a leader, one of the things you should have is a succession plan. What happens if you get hit by a bus tomorrow? What happens if you can, can't continue to have, you're developing people to take on that role. And if you're in an organization where you're on an upward mobility track yourself, by developing people underneath, it allows you to move up because you have people developed to take those roles beneath you. So enabling others to hack is a critical piece in what it means to be a highly effective leader that makes extraordinary things happen in organizations. So next week we start the final behavior practice in Kuzas and Posner's Leadership Challenge. So I hope you'll join me next week when we start that journey. And in the meantime, again, please feel free to sign up for my blog, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, subscribe to my blog by using a link. And if you do subscribe to my blog, I'll send you a free copy of my ebook, What Are These Things Called? Soft Skills. And if you'd like to have a conversation about any of these topics or things we've been talking about, again, go to my website. You can book an appointment uh, for a free, no strings attached, 30-minute conversation. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you again next week.